Dr. Hanscom, David, like, how do you know when it's something serious and like something that's like a, like what we would say is like needs immediate attention versus it being more of something that is um, maybe multimodal dynamic, right? Versus something that's an emergency. Because I think most people I see, that's what they always think it is, right? It's like, I need to get this taken care of right now. This is emerging. I, you know, this is something serious. But what we're talking about is, and I, I love how you started, acute to chronic. But even when they're in the chronic stage, they're still fighting. I'm so many people I know, they just keep fighting to the point where they get so worn out. And then, you know, they wonder like what, you know, they get, they get desperate. To get, to get through so, these so, issues. So, yeah, I mean, here's the issue is that, um, again, you're trying to lower inflammatory markers. So number one thing is um, I'm incredibly compulsive if someone comes to me with chronic pain not to assume anything. Mm. So I always do a structural workup. Mm -hmm. Probably 90% of symptoms in your body are from the body's physiology. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, it makes sense. I agree. I mean, if my car's sitting on the street, there's no symptoms. Yep. Is until when I turn the car on, yep. which is equivalent to the body's function, yep. the car's function, yep. you don't have symptoms until you turn the car on. Yep. And the human body has 30 trillion cells. Yep. And so it's very complicated. So it's in motion all the time. So it's the symptoms are from that physiology, not the structure. Yep. That being said, I do a complete workup every patient every time. Mm. I don't want to miss cancer, tumor, infection. Yep. Um, so once that's done, yep. unfortunately what happens is I call them obsessive thought patterns. You get this, I call it phantom brain pain. Yeah. The circuit goes, because we've been programmed this way, yep. that there's always something structural, and the answer really is there's rarely something structural. Then the next phase of it is, is that you have this phantom brain pain that the doctor's missing something, the doctor's missing something. Yeah. So even if I have a complete workup, they go from doctor to doctor to doctor, mm. and what happens, it doesn't matter how many tests you have, yep. No matter how many times I reassure you, that voice will not turn off. Hmm. That's a problem. Yeah. But again, once you understand the problem, there's actually a solution to that also. Hmm. So you can't solve it, but you can work past it.